I'm Tree. This is my project, Project Transparency, and over the weekend I went to the Lee Yakely Woodson Museum in Wausau. I still need a haircut. This is getting out of hand. Now before I talk about going to the Lee Yakely Woodson Museum, I want to remind you all that gallery night is tomorrow, and if you're watching this tomorrow, it's today. Um, so if you're in the Green Bay Appleton area, come by the Art Garage. I will be there demoing one of my many series that I work on. Now the Lee Yakely Woodson Museum. I actually didn't know it existed, which is exciting because it actually does a lot of more conceptual stuff, or at least shows more conceptual stuff, and I was invited along by my friend Sally, uh, along with a couple of friends of hers who, and all of them are older ladies, so this was very exciting for me to share very conceptual pieces with people who are still kind of alien to the concept of conceptual art. I'm bringing them around. They're actually really responsive to it. But because this was actually a really awesome museum, I mean, it's a beautiful museum, um, they actually didn't mind that I took photographs and videos, so you're going to actually get to see what I saw in, like, a very compressed amount of time because I spent the better part of, like, three hours and an hour and a half of it was in one particular exhibit, um, which I actually got to meet the artist. She was giving a talk that day, and that was really exciting. There is nothing better than meeting an artist who is not only brilliantly conceptual and well executed, but articulate in person. It seems to be a trifecta that just does not happen in real life. This is the Salvage and Salvage exhibition. Uh, my favorite piece is that yellow and black piece uh, by Lindo Witty Henke. This is the Redressed Upcycled Style exhibition by uh, Nancy Judd. It's one of the galleries. There were two and a half galleries of it. My favorite's in the other gallery. And it's that one, which is called the Environmental Stewardess. The cape is cut like safety uh, brochures so that it gives it an action comics feel which just adds a level of superhero that's amazing. Um, and this is the gallery from another perspective. Um, it's also made out of recycled airline seats. This is Jennifer Angus's Nature Composed. She screen printed and designed this wallpaper to look like the uh, Bayou uh, Tapestry, but with insects, so it's very Victorian nursery. And this is all beeswax objects, you know, Victorian bric-a-brac. Um, it was so warm in there at one point that you could smell the beeswax wafting. And these insects uh, that she has pinned to the wall like specimens so that they echo um, not only how the Victorians would put objects onto the wall, but uh, the wallpaper, and this is the dollhouse, just to reinforce the nursery. But there's a preoccupation with time in it, which is really interesting because time is an arbitrary construction. And there's a tiny little spinning wheel, which is really cool. It's just beautiful installation. So the artist I met was Jennifer Angus, The Nature Composed. Um, and I want to emphasize, I have her permission to show this. I asked, and she was very excited about having people see things. I was also very proud of myself that I actually gave her my card because I am incredibly introverted and shy in person. And it's kind of a big deal for me to give my artist card to people who I just met and who I look up to. But yeah, good museum, good work, just, it was a really amazing day. Um, yeah, um, hopefully next week I will have uh, footage for y'all of gallery night tomorrow and a couple of the artists who are there saying at least hi to you. Um, so yeah, 
I'll see you next week. Courage. <laughs>